Hello everyone. I know I'm a couple days late. Um, I was actually out of the state. Uh, I was in Las Vegas doing a small meetup, cool little meetup that you'll get a little more information and uh, videos on later on. Uh, but yeah, so that's why the past couple of days uh, have been PUBG videos and other old squad footage. Uh, I haven't really had the time to, um, you know, post those. Those were scheduled while I was out of town. Uh, but I'm back now, so you'll get videos regularly again, and uh, I'm just catching up here. So here's my 9.4 uh, kind of review or kind of impressions. I, I got a chance to look at it uh, when I was out of town. Um, so these are, I guess, my impressions. So we got a couple new video vehicles uh, in. We got the new um, MRAP for the Americans, which is really cool. I think that's going to be pretty strong, uh, having a stronger essentially Humvee um, it's gonna be better to you know get players around it's gonna be safer to use um, but that will be a lot of fun and then I know uh, Russia got um, a KP uh, VT MTLB so that'll be interesting to see as well but uh, I think the major addition was the, the MRAP so cool to see those come in uh, let's see what else we got uh, recruit kits have uh, entrenchment tools, which I think is good. That way, when you accidentally leave a squad or whatever, you're not completely useless. You can still build things. Uh, but before, when you had a recruit kit, you would not have a shovel, so you would be pretty pretty useless. Um, now hats don't instantly blow up vehicles. I think this is a great change because it gives the crew to kind of react. That way, it's not just an insta-lose. You still have some time to react when you get hit by a lat. It's not just an instant pop. And lat... Uh, kits maintain their lethality so you maintain that lethality while giving the passengers a fighting chance so I think this was a good change um, the hat kit also now takes up a fire support role so now uh, teams that have a hat kit have one less role that they can pick from the fire support category so it kind of uh, nerfs that which I think is great as well because a hat kit is, is pretty strong um, they reduce the amount of lats or not lats but hats on the team to one per team which is great because they're really strong i think there was too many hat kits running around uh before this change um medics now have one frag you guys know that you know all those medic main players are going to enjoy this change because you'll have one more tool that you can use and it's great to see uh you know medics have a little more lethality now it's not just picking up players you have one more tool to to do things with uh scout kit got their grenade change from two to one i think that's fine especially when you see what uh, scout kit can do now um, scout kits are also limited now because we have the addition of the anti-tank man and the IEDs, uh, which are now anti-vehicle and anti-infantry uh, assets that, that certain teams with the scout kit can use. And I think this is going to add a whole new uh, layer of depth to squad, you know, being ha having to actually look out for things on the road or having to pay more attention to your environment um, and not just, you know, walking through certain terrain or driving through certain terrain. Um, but yeah, it's cool to see the ID and the anti-tank mines are now in game. Um, let's see. So they add deployable rocks and covers to the scout class for mine concealment. That's pretty cool. So it's not just sticking out of the ground. Uh, scouts can have, you know, if you want to read on the exact changes for what scouts can have and deploy, um, it's right here, but I'm just not going to read through all that. I'm just getting a very broad strokes kind of video out. Um, they added mortars. <laughs> So you all know I've been waiting for mortars for a long time, and they're finally out. So you bet I'm going to have a lot of mortar videos coming out within the next couple of weeks, uh, and I'm going to be focusing a lot on the indirect fire, because you guys know I've been dying for this. You guys know how I love the arty truck, and I love playing with that stuff. So yeah, awesome. We'll see how, how effective I can use these. Um, but yeah, awesome to see mortars are in. Dam wraps are in. New MTLB for the Russians. Uh, let's see. Small changes, small other changes. Uh, they decrease volume of engine sounds while inside a vehicle. I've been dying for this change because you can't hear crap when you're in the vehicle and you're trying to communicate. It's just impossible to talk. Um, rockets are changed a little bit. And then they added uh, different um, caliber spreads when you're penetrating uh, certain materials. So when you shoot through the first wall or the second wall or third wall, depending on the caliber of your weapon will determine how accurate that spread is coming out the other side. So bullets won't go straight through things now. They'll kind of have a, a random trajectory. Uh, but that's pretty much, I think, the major changes. Some, some UI changes for the grids uh, because of the addition of mortars, I think. Um, but other than that, 
I don't think anything really new or crazy has been added. They added a new game mode called Invasion, which it kind of plays out. Uh, we already had a layer like this. It was called uh, Kohat AAS V2, and that was kind of like the same concept. US starts with one point, and they just go down the line in a linear fashion. Um, so this was kind of already in squad because they had a layer like it, but they're expanding it to other maps now. I think that's great. It's going to add, you know, more gameplay value and replay value. So good to see that stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much this update. So the main main things, once again, are the new mortars, the MRAP, IDs, and uh, mines, and then a new game mode. So yeah, can't wait to get my hands on this. You'll see new content every day, and I'll catch you guys around. Thanks for watching.